Welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. My name is Laura and today I'm going to make baby artichokes. These are a lot of fun to make and the recipe is sort of a fried boiled fried recipe. The fried gives us that great taste that we love in any fried food but the boil makes them not dry out like the fry does. When you buy baby artichokes they're small and they're medium size. Because they're small, they are a lot more tender than the larger ones. So we're going to need our baby artichokes. And the first thing we need to do is clean these. As I clean them, I'm going to put them in a little water with some lemon in it. Now, it's not important the ratio between lemon and water. It's just enough so that they don't turn brown well, I'm cleaning the rest. So to clean them, we're just going to pull back a couple of those bottom leaves and cut off that stem. And take about one row of those leaves off. We don't want the leaves that have a big split in them or that are really dark up in the top. You'll have a lighter green around that bottom and that's what we're looking for. Now, cut them in half. And when you look inside, you will see that you have none of that choke, which is in the center of the large one. So we don't have to worry about removing them. We're just going to cut off all of those points and put them in that lemon water. If you have some really tiny ones and some larger ones, you can cut these, you can cut these into four. want them all approximately the same size. So we're going to go through and just clean off some of those leaves. Cut them in half and cut that little point off. And that's all there is to cleaning those baby artichokes. To go along with these artichokes, we're going to need some olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic, oregano, and some parsley and some kind of a broth. I'm using a homemade chicken broth, but you can use a beef broth. You can also use a vegetable broth. So this can be made vegetarian. First thing we're going to do is drain these and fry them with the olive oil and the garlic. I have a quarter cup of olive oil and I always like to fry my garlic a little bit before I do anything. And that way that the oil starts to get that flavoring. I'm using one clove of garlic cut up, but you can always add more. And once that oil starts sizzling, just fry that for about a minute. And then turn that heat off. We're gonna take those we now will take those artichokes and put them right in the oil. Just turning that off just helps prevent it spitting as much on us. Now turn that flame back up and let's give them a fry for about five minutes. I really want to get the olive oil over all of them. Once we have fried them for about five minutes, we're going to add our stock. Now, if you have a stock that is already salted, you won't need to add any salt at this point. This is a homemade broth, so there's no salt in it. So I will be adding salt right on top. Just give them a good coating of salt. And you can even add some pepper. I do turn that flame down as I'm adding that broth in. And I have two cups of broth. You might not need it all. What we're wanting is for all of these to be about half covered. I 
I do like to take them and put them so that they're all face down. I also want to have a pan big enough so that they're all sort of on their own. There's none piled on top of each other. From here, we're going to add some spices. The parsley and the oregano. And both of them were about one tablespoon. We want to bring this pot up to a slow boil and then put the lid on. We're going to leave that for about 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and you can see that they're starting to change color. The broth is starting to change color and that's what we're wanting. Yeah, we can give them another toss. You'll be able to see that they're starting to already get soft. Put them so that they're all lying flat. And this time, I like to flip them so that the skins are down. You can taste the broth. And if you think you need a little bit more salt, now is the time to add it. Once again, we're going to put that lid on and leave it for another 10 minutes. And you can see that we just have a very slow boil. Okay, it's been 10 more minutes and these should be very close to being done. When you see them splitting right here in the center, that is a good sign that they are done. And this little core area, should be really soft just to touch with the knife. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue this without the lid on. So we can turn the heat up and now what we're going to do is evaporate the rest of the water and fry it for the last minute. And this will take anywhere between three to five minutes. We will need to be careful as we stir this because they are soft, so they could fall apart. When they start sticking to the bottom, we know they're done. These are done, they're soft, and we might have some little crispy pieces underneath. And we can eat that whole thing. Now, this is one delicious way of making an artichoke. It's tender, it's soft, it's juicy, and we can eat the whole thing. We can eat that little core. All of those great leaves. And I might have to leave some for someone else for dinner. Thank you for joining me today on Cooking with the Koyas, and I do hope you give these little artichokes a try. Bon appetit! Mmm. I love artichokes. Mmm.